I'm super excited today because I'm interviewing Christopher Scott and Comfort, who are two of the choreographers from Fox's new dramedy called A Big Leap. It's a modern tale about second chances and chasing your dreams. It also stars Scott Foley, Terry Polo, and Piper Perabo, just to name a few. So please help me welcome Christopher Scott and Comfort. Thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Of course. So we will get right into it. I want to talk to you guys today about Fox's new dramedy called The Big Leap, which you two are both choreographing for in comfort. I believe you also have a little part in as well. Yes. This is such an exciting show and ultimately gives second chances to people who may have not had the chance to live out their dreams of being a professional dancer. So for them to be able to come to this reality show and try out and live out those dreams is a very exciting thing for these people. Can you explain to me what drew you all into this project? I mean, yeah, me personally, it was really, it was that, that story of like, you know, I, when I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't dance. I kind of, my story was like, I fell into dance. My high school forced me to dance. I didn't want to do it. And it just happened. And once I, once I really gave in and um, accepted that I'm, I'm meant to do this, um, you know, I, I really found that purpose. And I felt, I felt like I had a, a voice in, in this world. So when I read the script, the pilot, um, that's all I could think about was like, oh, this is, this is a show for me. Like they wrote a show for people like me. I got to be a part of this show. Um, and so I worked really hard on my, my pitch meeting and, uh, and we all hit it off. And I was like, they called me and they're like, you got the job. And I was like, it worked. <laughs> how about you comfort um honestly the same well the thing is um christopher brought me on and asked to be a part of the team for uh, the choreography team and when he told me about the show and how it felt so it, it resonated with me so much because being from so you think dance and being a part of that reality process and me coming from being this like you know, girl from Dallas who did dancing here and there, got on a show, national television show, and just never thought that this would happen. I never thought that like dance would be my like me, my move to Los Angeles and get into this big world and just seeing how you have to like juggle your actual like reality with a reality television show and find how that those two worlds, it just felt as well, like I was in the right place at the right time to help with the process. So it, it was amazing just to, you know, join the team and then now be a part of the cast it was just such a process now and the two of you have been working together for geez like a decade now you mentioned yes you think you can dance which is also in the fox family uh christopher you're a three-time emmy winner comfort you are part of the all-star team top eight like huge accomplishments so for you two, this just seems like the perfect match to be able to come on this show and do this together. Um, so was that like an easy thing for you guys to just come to the show now and, and get your flow going right away? Oh, I mean, it makes it so much easier. Although I will say, if if you haven't worked with Comfort and Pat, it doesn't really matter if you've worked with her for <laughs> 10 years or two weeks. It's, it's always just like good energy, good vibes. It's like you feel like you've been working with her forever. So um but vice versa man it's, it's just clicks it makes sense but it was nice it's like we have that you know this sometimes we talk just like we're like oh maybe the thing and people are listening like what are they talking about like, is it, is it, oh yeah okay cool and then it just happens because we have that <laughs> connection now but um but it's really it's really been nice I'll tell you because you know being from LA and now and we're filming out in Chicago even just having that kind of um you know connection while we're out here and the, and the the connection to the show to so you you dance to be able to you know bring that experience you know a lot of times too comfort and I can look at it, look at each other and if something seems like oh that's sometimes we look around like that's perfect that literally is is mm-hmm. like straight out of the so you think you dance script book um, and then sometimes we see something like I don't know if that would be and, and we, you know sometimes we, we pass that thought on and 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 they've been really you know Liz Heldens and uh, Jason Weiner you know they've been so receptive and so um supportive of like of like communicating with us about this stuff and like bringing us in to um talk it's been su- such a fun experience honestly um for this show in particular it's taking a little bit of a twist where we have these amateur dancers who may have danced maybe in high school junior high growing up whatever it might be and now they are trying to relive their dreams from a younger day when you were working with these actors and trying to get them 
to do some choreography. Was that a little challenging for you guys or was it easy because they weren't professional dancers? Although Terry was in the ballet, I believe, growing up. So oh, yeah. maybe she did have some dance moves. Yeah, no, I mean, the range of, of dance level is really all over the spectrum. Yeah. Um, which makes it hard in itself, I think, too, because, you know, it's all storytelling. I mean, I think that's really what it comes down to. It's like just making sure that we're, we're telling, you know, we're, 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 we're telling the dance side of the story honestly, just like they're writing it for us. You know what I mean? I think it's really just staying true to, to the writing and making sure that it's not, that it's all, it's all believable because that way it's relatable. Um, you know, the thing I love about the, the amateur dancer side of it is it, it reminds people that dance is, is, is much more accessible than I think people think it is. Sometimes I meet a lot of people and they're like, oh, I'm not a dance. I'm like, well, I think we all are to some extent. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, when music comes on, if you're in your room <laughs> by yourself and you're like, hey, you got a little bounce to dancing, you. You got it. You know? <laughs> um, so to me, you know, that's that's always the big challenge is making sure that it, it feels honest to each individual character. Yeah. Um, and we've been able to track their growth through this project, which has been amazing because, you know, they come in and you know, they're, maybe they're starting off as amateurs. And, and as they grow, we're finding things, you know, like like John, uh, for example, who plays Mike. You know, it's funny. We, we're finding that he just really loves breaking. And there's these B-boys. And then Raymond Cham is a B-boy from a kid. He's an amazing world class B-boy. So we're finding these little bonds happening. And then you're seeing the movement you know, we started off a certain movement with him, but now you're starting to see like he really connects with breaking. So who knows? We'll see. I mean, now we see Raymond actually really connected with ballet, which has been really nice to see. Yes. Since most of the actors are not professional dancers, how did you make sure that their bodies were able to handle all the choreography and the longevity of it and not get injured on an everyday basis and walk in the next day like I can't move? <laughs> You know, you just hope they tell us the truth sometimes. You're yeah, like, yeah. you doing okay? And a lot of times, you know, because everybody's in this cast, they're such hard workers and perfectionists and they want to look great. Um, so that's always the big fear is like, how are you feeling? Are you okay? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm always like, okay, how do I get them to really tell me the truth? Right. That's always the hardest part. Um, Cause they want to do it, you know? But um, I think we've got a good trust going. I think we've got a lot of, um, you know, and, and, and I think they understand that it's a long season, you know, it's, it's a lot of shooting. So they're, we're, we're pacing ourselves and we're making sure everybody takes care of each other. A lot of, a lot of Theraguns. Yep, uh, a lot of Theraguns. A lot of hydrogels. You know, yeah, a lot of, a lot of wraps, you know, ankle wraps and things. We're trying to. A lot of icy hot. A lot of icy hot. <laughs> <laughs> When you guys were shooting this, obviously we were kind of in the midst of the pandemic shutdown. Did a lot of the choreography have to go on virtually in the beginning? I oh. so so when this happened, we did start doing. I'll let Comfort speak to this because it was it was like that moment when we had all this choreography from the beginning, from the first run, um, and it kind of just went away. Honestly, it, was, it almost worked out in in that sense of it for us. It was a bit of a silver lining just from all the. Um, you know, the hard, the hard year that, that we all had was like, well, coming back now, we all, we all had a new perspective. Um, and, and we also had a bit of time to process what, how they liked to move. So the first thing we did was like, well, let's take advantage now. The world kind of got on this whole Zoom class thing. So, so everybody was getting used to teaching. Comfort was teaching Zoom classes. I was teaching, you know, we've all, all kind of got more experience in that. And then, so the first thing we did was just set up some Zoom classes that Comfort and uh, Danielle Sten taught. Um, yeah. and, and I think Lance did some, some of those as well, too. The whole team was just- Yeah, uh, we did some Zoom classes, them. Got, them, got their training up so they could be prepared um, for when we did come and see each other in person. So, so yeah, so we had to do some Zoom trainings three, do- wait, three, three times a week. Yeah, I believe it was like three times a week. We had the ballet and the hip hop, like back to back. And then, yeah. you know, if people could be on, they would be on. If they, you know, if they couldn't, because some of them were out, they already started jumping back in to film. Other thing, you know, it was like a little, little, little mini extra boot camp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the first major television role for Simone Rasnicker, who plays Gabby on the show. And she said in the past that some of the dance moves may have made her a little bit nervous. How do you make sure that you reassure her and make her feel comfortable for things that she's doing, like the lift that happens at the end of the first episode? And how do you guys make sure to tell her, like, you got this? 
I have to tell her she has it. Yeah. Cause I know she has it. She has, she, she has so much charisma and like personality and she's funky when she can stay and when she finds her pocket and finds her weight distribution, like she just needed to understand that, you know what I mean? And so when we just kept working with her, um, with that and her confidence behind it, like it, she soars and she's just been getting better and better from the first time when I first met her. I was just like, wow, like just to see her, she feels it, she sees it, you know what I mean? And so that's what matters the most because sometimes people get in their heads and they're like, oh, I don't look right. And I'm like, but how do you feel? Like, let, let it let it start here and then it'll start to exude out in your movement. And then she starts trusting that and it starts to just grow. I'm just so proud of her growth. Wow, I really no, am. It really is, yeah, it's really impressive. And I know yeah. for me personally, like I did, it always goes back to studying you dance for me and I did, I'll never forget, I did one number where I was actually on camera and everything changed because I remembered I was so comfortable behind the camera. Now I forgot what it meant to be in front of a camera. And I, and I was so nervous and I was like, Oh my God, this is what the contestants feel like. This is what comfort feels like every day. So oh, wait, I can, we I dance? Can gain that. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. The Our, we were in the dance, same by the, way? The, poker, the poker dance. The poker and, dance. Um, and, it, and it reminded me of like, Oh, they have a different type of stress because I'm stressed for the crowd, for the routines. Typically when you're about to go on camera now, you have to perform. And so it gave me that empathy now. So when I'm, when I'm working with them again, I always try to remind myself of, of that moment, how it feels, you know, so that, you know, like it's nerve wracking. It's, it's vulnerable. When you're dancing and you're on camera, it's very vulnerable and you're putting your moment in everybody else's hands. You know what I mean? Like, cause all you can do is dance it. And then at the end of the day, you got a camera guy that's supposed to catch it. Um, you know, the, the choreographer that's supposed to create it for them and the, you know, and, and the director that's supposed to direct them through it. I mean, you just have all these people and then it, editor that's kind of edited it's all these little things and it can be really uh nerve-wracking for you you know because you're just giving your you know yourself um and so i just always try to remember that and, and we communicate it up front and we just try to make sure that they understand that like we're all here to make them look amazing like that's our job every little part every piece that i just went through we're all supposed to make them look amazing um and we're gonna do it for them and we're gonna and if anything feels wrong we'll fix it we'll change it whatever we'll do yeah. whatever we got to do that leads me into my last question it's a little bit of a fun memory throwback for you guys do you guys have or remember a time that you auditioned and it was like a complete disaster or embarrassing moment that you had oh, yeah. so many <laughs> <laughs> so many. Um, yeah I mean, I'll tell you, my, my, my first one, I mean, my very first audition I ever did was for, at Hollywood High School, just before I danced, before I, I didn't know what a monologue was, and they told me to come prepared with a monologue, and a comedic monologue, and, um, and I just watched a lot of stand-up as a kid, and I was a pretty, like, uh, edgy kid, I watched a lot of, like, rough stand-up stuff, you know, like, Eddie Murphy Delirious, Eddie Murphy Raw, I was watching that stuff, um, so I'm in ninth grade, I walk into this audition for my teachers. They're my English teachers, as well as my theater production teachers. And I'm like, this says comedy uh, monologue, comedic monologue, but um, I, I just feel like I can recite some stand up that I know by heart, like Eddie Murphy. They're like, that's called like, a curses. Is that okay? They're like, um, sure, we're all adults. And I'm like, okay, cool. And it was not okay. And it was terrible. And I was like sweating. I was like, why am I doing this? And I think I stopped at one point. I did another. I, I was like, maybe this one's a little too much. Can I go do this one? And they're like, sure. And I was like, that one was just as bad. And I left it thinking like, what did I just do? And I was like, never again. Um, but I got the part. So it worked out. But um, <laughs> Well, that's, that's a great story. Uh, it's stressing me out talking about it. <laughs> oh, Honestly, go ahead, I think cover. probably all of my like bad auditions is like when I've just forgotten. There was one time I just forgot. I completely blanked out, but I was in the middle in the choreography and I wish I can remember what it was for it was probably for like I can't remember what it was I can't remember what it was for I, I, I just wanted to get it out of my spirit in my head I just want to think about it I was like I don't know it's fine it was, it was I try to think in my head now that I'm just going to a free dance class because as soon as I think about like expectations all the choreography went out the window I think I just freestyled in the middle just went crazy but I, I yeah this went crazy in the middle just went boop boop <laughs> and they were like thank you <laughs> did you book the job <laughs> <laughs> you ended up here <laughs> thank you guys so
so much. I can't wait for everybody to watch the show starting on Monday. It's a fantastic show and great job on the choreography. So thank you so much for chatting with me. Thank you.